Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Now, Bite Beauty out of nowhere just dropped a brand new collection, guys. And this is called the Unearthed Collection. At least I didn't see any promo pics. I was just, I was caught off guard, you guys. Now, this Unearthed Collection, don't get confused with the Astrology Collection. The Astrology Collection is also a brand new collection for the spring for this year. But that pertains to the Amuse Bouche traditional lipsticks the one in the bullet the cream lipsticks now the unearthed collection is the liquid lipstick collection so they have like 10 brand new shades for spring so there are 10 shades in this collection and um out of the 10 seven are limited edition i didn't realize that to be honest i just realized this five minutes before i started to shoot this video so um i thought the whole collection was uh limited edition but no I'm assuming the other co colors come in like a normal, the usual, you know, gray Bite Beauty box without any special stickers. But these three limited edition shades come with this sticker with like a red lip sticker which says limited edition. So uh, seven are just uh, shade additions to the permanent lineup, the Amuse Bouche liquid lipstick lineup. And the three are um, limited editions. So these three are clove this is clove and then the sugar beet and col kohlrabi kohlrabi so these three are limited edition the rest the other seven are are just shade additions to the permanent line so they are per they are also permanent colors so i have eight out of the ten as i said i was caught off guard guys usually when there's like uh, you know teasing and like promo pics i kind of make up my mind which shade to buy but this was just out of nowhere and i kind of like i just went all in not all in but i have eight out of ten the other two were very like baby pink and very like white base pink or at least from the swatches that i saw like not like company well obviously it's like the brand is featuring the swatches but somebody else swatched it let's not get into it but yeah i have eight shades to show you guys um the actual packaging does not have any special limited edition packaging just the usual you know the the clear uh base where you see the actual product so you get a pretty good idea as to what the shade is so yeah let's get started maybe i'll swatch the limited edition ones first the first one is kohlrabi i know what which shade that is this one is called Rabi. It's like a very, almost like an ink blue with a hint of purple. It's really pretty, you guys. Hang on, hang on one second. Let me just open up the mirror. Do you see that? It's so, so pretty. I thought maybe it might be similar to Max Punk Couture or, or colors like that. But this is more like a uh, more blue just a hint do you see how pigmented that is you guys just crazy crazy pigmented it looks like a mustache it's just the one upper lip swatched so yeah that is kohlrabi and this is limited edition very very pigmented um as always it has that scent that um citrus scent that um you know by beauty products lip products have and very pigmented not streaky at all and yeah it's a beautiful color you guys nice we have a lot of shades we need to get going quickly and then what's the next one where is that box clove let's look for clove Oh, I found clove. Clove is like a beautiful reddish brown color. So that is clove. It definitely, it's not too, oh, I have some purple remaining. It has like a burgundy reddish tone more than a brown, if you ask me. What do you guys think? More than a brown, I think it's more of a burgundy red, like a very deep burgundy brown red. Yeah, I know. I have some mistake on my teeth. Again, full coverage, um, completely opaque. 
and that is clove so that is the second uh, limited edition shade kohlrabi and clove what's the other one hang on i have the boxes sugar beet i thought that it would be like a beetroot color but no it's like um very pastel lavender shade Take this one off. This color as well as you can see, completely pigmented, not shaky. You can see it's completely pigmented. I have a lot of product outside of my lip line. Pay no attention to that. So yeah, that is sugar beet, you guys. Sugar beet, yeah. Uh, if you have my skin tone, you you probably need a lip liner to. Uh, it's it's not too um, white based and it doesn't look that harsh against my skin tone. But I think you probably need some kind of a darker lip liner. Or if you decide to buy this along with the sugar beet shade, the cold rubby with sugar beet, then you could just mix and and do whatever you want with that because the kohlrabi is like so dark but uh even if you are like a tiny bit lighter than my skin tone you'd probably be able to like pull this color off without a lip liner because it's just it's not too harsh against my skin tone if you ask me it's, it's a beautiful color so next so the, those three are the limited edition colors the two purple colors and um very like a deep burgundy red color so the next ones let's watch this one this is cassava cassava is a beautiful this looks like a beetroot color actually it's just an intense deep red color again full coverage so much product out of my lip line but you guys this just swatch session is just to give you guys an idea as to how it looks so cassava is just your usual uh deep red color again uh completely pigmented fully opaque no problems whatsoever with the shade let's take this off I have two colors which are those trendy you know, burnt orange kind of colors. I'm so happy they um, release colors like this. This is Arrowroot. This is so unique, you guys, but this is not limited edition, so I'm happy about that. So intense. I'm so happy that companies are coming out with these kinds of oranges rather than a straight up orange. I know the straight up orange kind of washes me out rather than looking like neon. Some colors are not that neon, but for some reason just washes me out. It does not look good. This has a little bit of depth to it. That it does not wash me out. It looks really good. It like has gives a definition. This is the orange for dark skin, you guys. And this is arrow root. And yeah, that is a beautiful like a uh, burnt orange color which is like the perfect orange for dark skin if you ask me not this neon like well if you like it and like wear it obviously well i shouldn't be even saying wear it like do what you want that's it this is yucca yucca again is another one of those burnt orangey shades but it's it has a little bit of brown do you see it has a little, it's more muted and definitely on the nude side of burnt orange let me just swatch it for you guys do you see it's like muted so if you're looking for a burnt orange nude this would be it it's like a beautiful color this is like the perfect terracotta color for dark skin usually again terracotta colors like wash me out it just looks kind of weird but this has the depth. I have some other color underneath there. 
this has this depth that it like it looks like the perfect terracotta color for my for my skin tone so that is yucca and that is arrowroot so those are the two like burnt orangish colors that um they have in this collection if you're someone who's like crazy oh these colors like me pick those two up so finally i have two nude shades this is uh chicory i honestly thought chicory won't look good on my skin tone but you know but let's watch jikama first jikama is a how do i describe it it's like a plum shade but with a hint of red it's not like a pinky plum you know but it has like this it's a muted reddish plum it also like it could be a perfect nude as well on dark skin now this is the only color which is sheer do you see the difference between the other colors in this one it's definitely on the shears it's not i wouldn't call it sheer per se but it's definitely a semi-opaque kind of a product um so yeah that's jikama and out of the eight that i picked up this is the only shade that's like on the uh, semi-opaque side it's not like full coverage um yeah yeah i can definitely see my natural lip color peeking through with this color so that's jikama almost like a gloss you know the others are like a lipstick like actual like melted lipstick but this is like a real like a gloss this is chicory chicory is like the lightest color i picked out of the lot it's like the perfect peachy nude guys for me if you have do you see it's like it's new but it's not like too white base it doesn't like a wash me out or at least i think it doesn't, it doesn't wash me out so yeah the perfect nude and it's completely pigmented completely covers my um my, my natural lip color and yeah that's it those are the eight shades you guys i thought i'd also show you guys um dupes things that kind of look similar uh to the shades in the amuse bouche line so if you have the these colors in the amuse bouche lipsticks you probably might not need to buy them again uh this is the one i want to show is clove clove reminded me of nori or nori from their um amuse bouche line where are you nori all right yeah i got nori let's watch nori so that's nori do you see it's like a reddish brown or a brownish red i don't know and then let's watch clove this the clove is a limited edition one so if you love colors like that i'd say pick it up because the uh the amuse bouche liquid lipsticks are like two dollars less um so yeah if uh, two dollars less compared to the amuse bouche traditional bullet lipsticks i just said two dollars less i didn't say to what so this this is nori from the amuse bouche um cream lipsticks and this is clove which is a limited edition from the liquefied liquid lipstick so they these two don't you guys think they kind of look similar this probably look has a little more brown in it i don't know guys on the lips i think they're going to look the same so one down we've been we've done one dupe let's send them both together somewhere then i'm just trying to organize my table because i just could get confused and just pick everything up and check for the name so i'm just moving the ones that i've already duped aside so we have cassava cassava is cassava again reminded me of beetroot from the bite beauty amused bush line so let's see where are you beetroot yeah i found beetroot there you go they are kind of similar but in an angle do you see beetroot has you can 
tell that it has more pink and this is like a straight up red it does not have any pink elements to it and this like has so this is cassava which is um not a limited edition one this is just like uh it's it's part of the permanent line and beetroot also is a part of the permanent line so they kind of look similar but this has a lot more not a lot more a tiny bit more pink in it so i don't know how they're going to look different will they look different on the lips i don't know so cassava and beetroot and what else i think this reminded me this color um what color is this i forget um i think chicory the one i have on my lips reminded me of verbena this is verbena do you guys think that it might be similar hang on let's watch verbena first Verbena is like the perfect um, rose terracotta. I think that's how it's described. This is like the rose terracotta nude. And where is chicory? I found chicory. Maybe I should swatch this side. Do you guys almost like I know I swatched it too close I'm sorry but um, they almost like kind of look like they kind of overlap do you guys see any difference I don't see a lot of difference to be honest so I'd say chicory and verbena are kind of very very similar to each other so yeah those are three dupes that I found in the permanent uh, amuse bouche um, traditional lipstick bullet lipstick lineup so this is nori and clove clove is a limited edition by the way and then we have cassava and beetroot and then we have um chicory chicory and which chicory is also a uh, not limited edition and then we have verbena verbena is also not limited edition so yeah you guys those are the three dupes that i found very close dupes in the by beauty lipsticks itself so hope you guys found this video useful uh please do give all right before i say goodbye i this these are just shade additions but let me quickly touch on the formula so these are liquid lipsticks and you get the same amount of product as the um, um, usual amuse bouche liquefied liquid lipsticks you get 7.15 grams of product that's 0.25 ounce of product and these retail for 24 dollars as i said earlier these are two dollars less than the traditional amuse bouche lipstick the bullet lipsticks they retail for 26 dollars and you get four grams or 4.5 grams of product and these are seven you get 7.15 grams of product of course since it has like an applicator and everything there's probably a lot of wastage and stuff like that probably that's why they give a lot or maybe that's kind of the standard for liquid lipsticks you do get a lot of product you get 7.5 1.5 grams sorry guys 7.15 let's round it to 7.2 grams of product so what else um it comes with like an applicator like this like it has a slant in it and the application it, it's very easy to apply there are, these products are not streaky as i said fully pigmented except for that one shade Jikama. Jikama is definitely on the sheerer side. What else? Uh, they're very moisturizing as all, uh, amu not, not Amuse Bush, all uh, Bite Beauty lip products. They're very moisturizing and the lasting power is really good. Um, initially, they don't set. It takes some time, honestly, for them to set. But within that time, if you have too much product on your lips, it is, it will, it will most certainly get on your teeth. So just dip the um, applicator in once and just apply the amount of product you have on your lips with that that's it if you go in and apply a lot um you're going to get it on your teeth uh so that's the only downside i feel with respect to the liquefied liquid lipsticks from amuse bush but otherwise they are fantastic guys um they are so so moisturizing your lips would feel amazing after wearing these liquid lipsticks and they do last a long long time i would say like almost five to six hours of wear um once they not once they said it takes some time to set but the lasting power is fantastic especially for a like a glossy liquid lipstick i would say not even satin finish so yeah once they said they the gloss kind of wears away wears off and you do get like a satin lipstick 
that's it you guys um hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye